hello friends welcome to this next video on classical mechanics so let us see till now what we have done we have started with the single system we had a single uh, sorry single particle and then we had a system of particles system of particles right for a single particle we had law of conservation of linear momentum law of conservation of angular momentum and then law of conservation of energy these three things we had for a uh, single particle and for a system of particles we have derived law of conservation of linear momentum we have derived law of conservation of angular momentum and we still have to derive law of conservation of energy so this is what we are going to do in this video we'll derive the law of conservation of uh, energy for a system of particles so let us do that okay the concept will be similar what we have done for a single particle right so we our aim is to derive the law of conservation of energy for a system of particles right so we assume that we have some n n particles okay and for the ith particle we will assume that ri denotes the position vector of the ith particle and there are external forces as well as the internal forces acting on the ith particle so uh, we have to derive the law of conservation of energy so we'll do what we have done for a single particle how we derive the law of conservation of energy we'll look at the work done when we move this system okay for from position 1 to some another position 2 right okay so let us see what is the work done when we move the system from system uh, position 1 to position 2 so let us uh, denote w12 this is the work done when we uh, when the system is moved from position 1 to 2 so this is nothing but this is equal to for the ith work done by all the okay so you can just write it as summation i work done by the ith particle work done by the force acting on the ith particle by the force acting on ith particle right okay and suppose fi fi we have already uh, used this notation fi denote the force acting on the ith particle this fi includes both internal as well as external forces okay as of now we'll treat it as fi only so uh, what is this work done by uh, the force acting on the ith particle so this is equal to fi dot dri integral from position 1 to 2 this is this is what the work uh, is done by the force acting on the ith particle and we have here summation right now what is force by newton's second law of uh, second law of motion we have force is equal to mass into acceleration so mass is mass of the ith particle is mi into acceleration is your vi dot dot stands for derivative with respect to time right so and what is this dri dri is the distance traveled by ith particle so this is equal to velocity of the ith particles in particle into dt dt is the small time interval so what is this we have i summation over i from 1 to 2 we have this mi vi dot okay and then dot vi dt right this is what we have with us so what i can do i can multiply here with 2 and i can divide with 2 so i have this thing as summation i 1 to 2 i am taking that factor of half outside and then i have 2 mi vi dot vi so i can write that as mi vi dot vi plus mi vi dot vi dot right i have something like this times dt now what is this this is derivative of dy by dt of mi vi dot vi okay so i have used the product law you can see that if i want to uh, do the derivation of uh, i want to differentiate this term then how i will differentiate i'll take uh, mi is constant so mi into vi dot and i'll keep that vi as such plus then i'll again keep by this vi as such and then i'll differentiate this vi so this these two terms are uh, they are actually the differentiation of this term right so i can write this like this so we have one to two summation over i right so what is this now this is your dt and d, uh, you have to differentiate and integrate so this is nothing but total derivative so this is i uh, summation over i 1 to 2 d of i can write vi dot vi uh, vi dot vi is nothing but vi square right 
so i have and i ha i had a factor of half here i missed that okay right so we have what we have with us so this is equal to we have with us this is equal to uh, if i call okay i'll write it again i at summation over i 1 to 2 d i'll take the factor half inside half m i v i square so i'll get if i call it as t i right so i'll get summation i okay don't call it t i take this summation also inside so you have 1 to 2 derivative of uh, d of total derivative of i uh, half m i v i square right i'll call this thing as t uh, t this is the total energy of the system okay so this is equal to t2 minus t1 this is the total energy kinetic energy of the system at the position 2 and this is the total kinetic energy of the system at the position 1 so what we have derived we have derived that the work done w12 is equal to t2 minus t1 where t stands for half m i v i square summation over i and this is nothing but total kinetic energy of the system right so we, we have seen that the work done is equal to t2 minus t1 now we look at another way of deriving this w12 okay let us do that okay so how we will do that we have again we'll start the same thing w12 is nothing but uh, this is summation over i fi dot dri okay 1 to 2 right now fi is fi that is your uh, force acting on the ith particle is equal to external force acting on the ith particle plus summation over j not equal to i fji which fji stands for the force acted uh, uh, on the ith particle by the jth particle right dot with dr this is what we have uh, fi uh, as in uh, when we have a system of particles right so this is the external force acting on the particle and this is the total internal force acting on the particle ith particle right okay so suppose this uh, external force acting on the particle is conservative okay if the external force is conservative it means that you can write your external force as fi external is your negative gradient of some vi right vi is the potential okay so in that case okay first we have uh, if i write fi as a comp uh, sum of these two terms then i have this thing as summation i 1 to 2 fi external dot product with ri plus here i have a summation i and here we i have a summation over j so i have a summation over i and j and i have the condition that i should not be equal to j and then i have fji dot with dot product with dri summation uh, integral from 1 to 2 right so i'll deal with the terms separately for the first term okay for the first term if the external forces are conservative we have a condition like we had earlier if the external forces are conservative which is not always the case forces are conservative but that is the case most of the times then i can write this term as summation over i 1 to 2 this is my negative gradient of vi dot with dri vector so this is equal to summation i 1 to 2 i have this dvi so this is summation over i negative with the negative sign negative sign vi 1 to 2 where vi is the potential of the external force acting on the ith particle right so first term we have derived like this you have to remember that first term is uh, this is equal to first term is your summation over i v i 1 to 2 with a negative sign right now let us look at the second term okay it's little more critical let us look at the second term okay so what is our second term second term is uh, summation over i j i not equal to j 1 to 2 f j i dot with d r i right now if i assume that assumptions you have to uh, see you have to note so first assumption is the internal forces the internal force fij fji okay for that matter fi fji or fij whatever you want to say, uh, write suppose we are writing fij fij is the external force acting on the jth particle by ith particle okay 
okay so this is uh, conservative we assume that this force is conservative it means that this force is equal to negative of gradient of some potential right okay so this is the first assumption and then second assumption is we assume that the internal force is uh, always weak law of action reaction it means that fij fji that is the external force which the uh, gs particle exerts on is particle is equal to negative of fij right this is when you assume that there is a weak law of action reaction and further if i assume that if i assume that there is a strong law of action and reaction okay if i assume that strong law of action reaction is followed it means that the forces these forces fj and fij these forces suppose this is my is particle and this is my gs particle and if i assume that there is a strong law of action and reaction then these forces will act along the line joining these two particles and you can actually see that if i assume that fij is a function of only the distance between these two particles that is fij is a function of distance between ri and rj then automatically it will be ensured that uh, the forces are obeying the strong law of action reaction right so i'll assume that uh, the internal forces are conservative one thing and i'll assume that the internal forces are obeying the strong law of action and reaction in that case i will have something like this that my fij is equal to negative gradient of vij and that further is a function of only distance between is particle and gs particle right this if i assume this thing this this will ensure that and further i'll assume that this is equal to minus f ji okay so this thing that i am assuming fij is equal to negative of minus f ji and that is equal to that is a function of only the distance between ri and rj this thing will uh, assure that the forces are obeying strong law of action and reaction okay and further i am assuming that F fij is a gr negative gradient of some potential it means that i am assuming that the forces involved are conservative in nature okay okay so you you can note that from here you can note that i write fij is equal to negative gradient of vij which is a function of only ri minus rj and then fji is only i'll write plus here okay now we have to deal with this term let us look at this term i can actually write this term as ij summation over ij i not equal to j i can divide with half and i can write this term two times right integral i'll take outside one to two i can write it as fji dot with dri, DRI plus i am not writing the vectors okay you can write it as uh, if you want to write the vector sign symbol okay like this you can write dot with dri right now because we have to finally make the summation so these numbers uh, i and j they are dummy so i can write this term as i can change this term as fij dot with drj okay i have uh, interchanged uh, i am writing j here so i have to write j here and i am writing i here and it will not make any difference because you have to finally sum over i and j and i not equal to j right so i have this thing as summation ij i not equal to j 1 by 2 integral 1 to 2 fji dot with dri plus fij dot with drj now what is fji this is fji is negative uh, sorry from here this is positive gradient of gradient of vij right dot with dri okay now you can see that this is a function of only ri minus rj right minus what is fij that is minus gradient of vij which is a function of only ri minus rj okay dot product with drj okay i think i hope that till now everything is clear okay okay go ahead so this is equal to summation over ij i not equal to j half 1 to 2 i can take this gradient of vij ri minus rj that is a function of ri minus rj inside you have dri minus grj okay we should have a negative sign okay we can take the negative sign also outside so you have here drg minus 
DRI. Okay. So this is equal to uh, a negative half summation i j i naught equal to j integral from 1 to 2 this is uh, prod, uh, mod so this is gradient of v i j okay that is a function of only if I, I, I call it this is d r j minus r r r j minus r i you have r j minus r i here you have r i i'm sorry so you have r j here and r i here this is r i this is r j okay so this is your r i minus r j okay no no you have taken the negative sign outside so this is i'm sorry this is correct this is r j minus r i right if i call this vector as r i j vector so this is uh, v i j is a function of r i j okay dot product with d r i j right so now because this is a function of only r i j so i can write it as total derivative of v i j okay so when i'll integrate i'll get it as negative half summation i j i naught equal to j this is v i j 1 to 2 okay so what i get i have these two things with me the first term was i was calculating this work done by uh, the part uh, uh, this force is acting on the system of particles in moving it from position 1 to 2 is equal to the first term was summation over i v i 1 to 2 and the second with a negative sign and the second term is summation over i and j i not equal to j v i j okay with the uh, half sign from 1 to 2 okay so i'll see something this thing v i minus half summation i j i not equal to j v i j right i call it as v this is the potential of the system okay and this is called this term is called sorry i'll call it plus okay and this term is called total internal potential of the system total internal potential of the system right and what assumptions we had made we have made the assumptions that the uh, the forces external forces are uh, conservative and the internal forces are conservative and they follow the strong law of friction and reaction in that case you can see that what is this this is nothing but this is nothing but negative v2 that is the potential at the position 2 minus v1 okay right now you have to remember what do you mean by v v is the total external potential of the system plus total internal potential of the system right and we have already derived that v uh, w12 was t2 minus t1 right these two quantities should be equal from here you get t2 plus v2 is equal to t1 plus v1 that is kinetic energy plus total potential energy of the system at the position 1 is equal to kinetic energy plus total potential of the energy total potential energy of the system at the position 2 so this is nothing but law of conservation of energy for a system of particles right so the only thing which you should know that the potential energy has this form right and this term this total internal potential of the system these has like we have to study this separately okay there are many indications of this term right implications of these uh, this uh, total uh, internal potential of the system we'll look at in the further videos thank you